Here I have the two well-known popular chess boards, the renowned chess Naivo besides the chess up from Bright Labs. We will be delving into details about each board and making relevant comparisons. We'll see the look and feel of the boards and pieces, measurements of the boards and pieces, weights of the pieces, the user interface, the features, the AI training, piece recognition, LEDs, and the gameplay engines. Let's also see the storage bags as well. I have the chess nut evo queen here and the chess sup queen. Now let's check the weights of these pieces. So if we check the weight of the chess up queen, it comes to approximately, all right, that is 17 grams. And as for the chestnut evo queen, it comes to 13.3 grams. So these pieces are heavier. Let's compare the kings. Here we have chess up king, 22.2 grams. The chestnut evo king comes to 12.8 grams. Here's the rook, chess up rook, comes to 12.8 grams, sorry, 12.7, roughly 12.7 grams for the chess up rook. Chestnut Evo comes, Chestnut Evo's rooks comes to 8.9. Chess up knight. 14.7 grams. Chestnut Evo Knight, 11.1 grams. Chess up Bishop comes to 12.5 grams for the Chess up Bishop. Now for the Chestnut Evo Bishop comes to 8.8 grams. Finally, the pawns. So the chestnut evo pawn comes to 5.5 grams. Now for the chest up pawn, it comes to 8.1, roughly 8.1 grams. Now let's measure the dimensions. Mind me, because I, I use CM and millimeters. So here, each square comes to around 3.3.8 cm, roughly 3.8 cm. Now if let's let's measure the actual playing area. So for the chess up board, it's roughly 30.8 cm. This board is much lighter than the chestnut Evo. Now let's measure the pieces. Here's a white pawn by chess up. Its height is approximately 3.5 cm. Now for the knight, the height of the chess up knight it comes to 5 cm high. For the rooks, 4.5. Let's look at the bishop. So the bishop's height comes to about 5.6 cm. Let's look at the kings. So the kings come to about Chess-up king comes to about 7 cm. The queen comes to about 6 cm. So that's the chestnut board. And now for the chestnut evo. So as for the chestnut evo, the playing, playing area comes to about 7.8 cm. So let's measure the dimensions of the squares. So that is, each square comes to about 3.5 cm. So yeah, 3.5 by 3.5 of course. The feel of this board feels really flimsy and plasticky. Like a, kind of like a, I wouldn't say hard, it kind of feels soft in a sense that it's, smooth but kind of feels like it's easy to break. I think as for the weight it's kind of heavy because this metal framing is contributing much to the weight itself so that will probably be one of the reasons why it's heavier than the chestnut board. The chestnut evo has a push button switch and these are the dials to increase the volume 
they don't do much actually. These are just volume buttons mainly. We have the reset button here and the USB-C cable import here. If I were to compare these two boards together side by side, this part, this board feels a little bit more flimsy than the chest up board. I feel like this board is more embedded onto the board and the frame. Whereas the Chestnut Evo board feels kind of flimsy, I would say. Like, it's, it just feels like it's a little bit out of its place. I wouldn't say entirely, it just feels... Um, maybe I'm just being a little bit too picky here, but it does kind of feel a little bit flimsy, unlike the Chestnut board. It just feels like it's really ingrained and embedded onto the... Um, plastic frame itself I don't know maybe I'm just being too picky but that's what I think in comparison to the chestnut evo board this is using a plastic frame and so therefore it must be much lighter because it's not contributing much to the weight plastic is really light as you know so it's I would say this is much easier to carry but it's a little bit inconvenient because of course you have to connect it to a tablet or a smartphone via Bluetooth. Whereas the Chestnut Evo has an embedded screen. Here's the switch. So this has a, a switch, an actual switch, no button. And there's a USB-C here. To reset it, you probably have to well, you will actually reset it via the app. There is no reset, um, no reset button on this board. You just, as you turn it on, it's kind of like already set by default as you turn it on each time. So out of the box, they come with these felts. Green for chest up and black for chest night evo. Chest up does not have piece recognition per piece. I am aware that the chest nut 2 is coming out. I am just, I'm just unable to get my hands on it right now, but, um, so I'm kind of late to the game, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm here just to show you how they are for now, so if once, once I do get my hands on the chest up too in the future, I am able to make relevant comparisons and we can look back at this video. Now I have these boards set up and they are turned on. So the chest up board is more ideal for training and with its AI built in feature. Whereas the chest up board doesn't really provide this feature. It's more like a hands on play game uh, experience. And so I would say that the chest up board, of course, is more ideal for learners. But not to say that this chestnut board, I'm sorry, not to say that the chestnut Evo board is bad at all. It's still good for, for learning. Um, it's just that the chestnut board is more ideal for people who are playing and wanting to find the best moves. Let's compare the interface. So here we have the chestnut home screen on the chestnut Evo. If we look at the options. We have Android settings. We're not gonna have to look through that. Here are the chessboard settings for the Chestnut Evo. We have the ability to turn the sounds on and off. Piece movements, we can have the option of that. Algebra algebraic notation sounds, um, chestnut chessboard LEDs. We will compare these options to the Chess Up app. Uh, we have the ability to change the colors on the Chestnut Evo. I mean, sorry, the, on the Chess Up board, you are unable to do that. I have mentioned before that the Chestnut Evo is more customizable, unlike the Chess Up board. Um, we have the option to display how much intensity we would like for that for these LEDs to, sh to, to show up. Um, these options are again 
really great. And um, the chess up board, I believe we also have this option. We can allow take back, auto clock in, match, limbo delay. If I want to slide the pieces, you can set a delay here so that the board will not register immediately. Through the chess up app, it's connected to my phone. Now, if we look at this interface in comparison to this, let's explore the different options that we have. So there is not much to say about this. We go to general settings. We can, we can adjust the ambient light sensor. So the intensity of the LEDs we can grab auto, high and medium. I find that when I'm setting up the board and playing, it'll automatically adjust the intensity of the lights. Ratings, assistant quality, the impacts, quality of gameplay assistance for high value impacts. Okay. Uh, analysis quality, impacts of quality of gameplay where higher values enhance accuracy of analysis and also that. Okay. Post move hint, we have this option. No lights mode, if you want to turn off the lights, you can do so. So legal moves for each player. Sorry, each piece will no longer be displayed. Once you made a legal move, the square you move to will blink to confirm the, that it was selected. Hide opponent rating. So these are the different options that we have here. Board updates. I'm not going to go through that right now. But we still have the ability to control the board here. It's basically uh, set up board quickly, play a game kind of thing, you would say for the chess up. Um, whereas for the chestnut Evo board, it's more detailed in terms of customizability and how you are able to play games. We also have the history here. So if you want to play games and explore your past games, you can do so. The chestnut Evo board also has this option that's in the record feature. If I want to play a game right away, I can just toggle AI, um, I can just toggle AI opponent, or I can play two players, I have the options here. Um, whereas for the Chestnut Evo, if I want to play a game right away, I may have to select app and choose Chess Dojo. Or, I can select bot match and play the, against the engines. So here, Stockfish, Maya, and so forth. Why isn't it moving? H7, H5. There we go. T7, T6. Now, if I want to play a game right away with the chess up board, all I have to do is just select these options. So I'll select none, I'm white, player assistance. So if I wanna have my assistance set up, I can do that here. If you wanna see more details about the chess board, please visit my other video. I have an actual video explaining the actual chess board itself. In this video, I'm just making relevant comparisons to the Chestnut Evo board. So all I do is just select start game and it will automatically start. This board has announcements. It seems as though throughout this um, app of the chess up board, it doesn't seem to have any announcements unlike the chess not either. G2, G3. G2. Here we have chess up against the chestnut Evo. I've set up the boards, so now chestnut Evo will play against the chess up board. We're using Maya. G1, 
F3. B1, C3. C3, D5. In terms of the LEDs, I just think that the chest up LEDs look more vibrant and they really pop out more than the chestnut Evo LEDs. Okay, queen back. D2, D4. Let's explore the storage options that we have for the Chestnut Evo and the Chestnut boards. Here is the Chestnut Evo bag. There is a pouch here. We can insert documentation in here. The board will go in here and there's a strap. You can, you can insert a cable. There are extra pouches, so you always have enough space for something extra. And what's great about this bag is that you can use it as a backpack. There is also a handle. You can also carry it this way. So, there are two ways. Or well, three ways actually. There's a handle here. Now I put the pieces in. Now I will insert the board. Lock it with a strap. It's all zipped up. have it. Nice storage option and a go-to way of carrying your chestnut Evo board. Now let's measure its weight in kilograms. It comes to 3.5 kilograms. Here's the bag for the chest up board with its pieces. We can store the pieces in here. What is great about this bag is that we can separate white from black. So it's easier to set up. You just take out the white pieces and the black pieces and it, you're spot on, you're great to go. So now let's insert the pieces. We have a pouch here, unzip it. You can insert, store your documentation in here. This is not really necessary. <laughs> and here's a strap that you can insert. You can insert cables. This should be great for the chest up two board as well. So I've checked the website and they're using the same bag. So the board goes in here.
There we go. So we can carry it like this. Or you can set up the strap. And carry it over your shoulder. Just like a laptop. In terms of the weight, they are pretty much similar. If you do pack up the the chest up board in its bag with the pieces, it's similar to the chestnut Evo. I guess it's because the the chest up pieces are heavier, so it probably does counterweight and make up for the lost weight in terms of the board. I would say that the board feels much lighter. The chest up board, that is. The chest up board feels much lighter than the Evo. But, oh, hold on. So, it's probably because of this that they do make up for the same weight when they're all packed up. Or similar. So, yeah, not a big deal, but that is what it is. So it comes to roughly 3.5 gra um, kilograms. So there we have it, Chestnut Evo and Chessup. So once these bags are packed, the weights are similar. However, when once you carry the Chessup board, it's much lighter than the Chestnut Evo. And as for the features, you've seen that the Chestnut Evo has more to offer than the Chessup board. The app of the Chessup board is more simplistic and straight to the point and easier to navigate rather than the chest up sorry the chestnut evo board because the chestnut evo board has various options and you are able to install apks whereas for the chest up board you're unable to do that you are limited to the chest up app so that's all for today i hope you have a good morning a good afternoon or a good evening whatever time you are watching this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching